Now this is the craziest explosion I have ever seen. I have never seen this much detrimental damage to the inside of an engine. I bet this sounded crazy when it happened. Okay, so that's the camshaft in pieces right there. I have not touched anything other than removing the sump off of this, okay? <laughs> There's chunks. There's a, the compression release trigger is right there. I've got chunks of the piston rod all over this thing. There was a big chunk down there. There's the end of the rod right there that's broke off. This is insane. Wow. What? But unfortunately, guys, the worst part about it is what's making me a sad sacky is this sump. I can't use it. I didn't think that it was going to be destroyed this bad. I mean, pieces were going all over the place and it completely destroyed my oil tube. So a few days ago, we opened up this Briggs engine right here. And as you can see, it is gone. I mean, the camshaft broken pieces, the rod is broken. There's pieces all over the place down here. You know, pick your part guys. This thing exploded and I was hoping that uh, I could steal the sump off of it and put the sump on a another engine that I had that I was going to move all the pieces over to that engine. But unfortunately, when we broke into that one, the damage was too bad and my oil tube was screwed up and I was not able to use this sump. So I found another engine that I had sitting around at the shop and y'all have seen this engine before. I made a trash to treasure video where I fixed a Poulan Rider and this was the engine that was on it. And I put another engine that I had at the shop. But as you can see, this thing, it exploded too. The counterbalance broke. I got pieces of, I don't, I don't even know. I guess that's more of the counterbalance down there. Uh, the compression release trigger on this came off. So that's junk. But yeah, there's more pieces of the gear for the camshaft right here came off. It broke into pieces. So this thing's got a good head. So I think I'm gonna steal the head off this one. But the sump on it was still in really good shape. So even though this engine was pretty much junk anyways, I hold on to things because hey, you never know. You might need a sump or a carburetor or a manifold or a head. Now, if you didn't see the video that I posted a couple days ago, I will leave the link right up here because you might want to check it out with me tearing this thing apart. So I feel like I'm being really confusing. So let me catch you up a little bit. A couple of months ago, a customer gave us a John Deere riding lawnmower with a bag kit with a blown up engine. This is the said engine. Now I wanted to steal the sump off of this engine to put on an engine that I had that was almost pretty much brand new, except it had a cracked sump. Now, while I've owned this engine for the last year, I have stolen everything off of it, including the head, the carburetor, every bit of this engine I've sold stuff off of. So I've got to take everything off of this engine and put it on this one. And I was hoping to do that with the sump, but unfortunately, when I opened that engine up that was exploded, the sump was gone too. So I just happened to have another engine that's exactly the same. And this is from a Trash to Treasure video I made over a year ago where I fixed a Pula and Rider. And the reason that this one exploded is because the customer decided that they wanted their blades to turn faster and locked their throttle as high as it could go. And this engine just blew up because of that. But fortunately, it's got an amazing sump on it. So I'm going to take this sump, put it on this good engine short block, then I'm going to take all the peripherals off that engine, put it on this one, and hopefully we got a good engine again. All right, so let me catch you up here. Uh, it took me like 20 minutes to scrape off the sump gasket from the engine and from the sump. No, you don't want to see that. But I did go ahead and put in my lifters and my camshaft. If you need to know how to do that, I already have a awesome tutorial on that. I will leave a link right up above or in the description box below on how to replace your Briggs camshaft because it is obviously an issue. If you've ever watched any of these channels, you know they break. Usually it's the compression relief trigger right here that breaks off. This one still is on there and this was out of one of those engines and I could use it but I put a new camshaft in here and that is the only new part that I am putting in this entire rebuild um, because the exhaust lobe right here 
it's got a flat spot on it and you really barely can tell it. I can tell it though, and I'm not going to trust that in this engine since I do want to, you know, get a good amount for this. I don't want it coming back with a blown up camshaft on me soon. So put a new camshaft in there. And the reason that you're going to have issues with a camshaft and it getting worn down on the lobe is because a lot of people do not buy good oil. And I know a lot of people do not think that, you know, this is an issue, but it is. They stopped putting zinc additives into oil a long time ago and because it will clog up the catalytic converters and the new stuff. Anytime you have an engine with a flat tappet lobe on it, even in your older vehicles, definitely you need to find an oil with zinc in it because it will wear them down with that metal on metal contact that zinc protects it extremely. So just a, a heads up guys, make sure that you find oil with zinc when you're working on any of your small engines like this. And let me bring you in so I can show you where I'm at. All right, and this is what it looks like right now. Still gotta get my governor in here and it's looking clean and pretty. I don't need your help. <laughs> All right, guys, Hollywood magic. It is day three of this build. I know it's a completely different day. I just got off work, but I could not finish the other day because out of the three engines that I had and had taken apart, including the one that was sitting here in the garage with all the parts sitting right there, somehow I had lost the flywheel keys. So this little tiny piece completely stopped me in my tracks, but I have one now and I'm going to throw it back together. All right, guys, so I am not going to film putting all this back together because I have made plenty of videos about all this kind of stuff, and I don't want to bore you. When We really just want to know how much money we're going to make off this thing, right? This completely free mower, pretty much all these free parts. I've got a 2013 head on a 2020 engine on a 2008 sump with a brand new camshaft. So pretty much all I have into this is the price of the camshaft, my cost, some gaskets. I'm going to service it out, and uh, I think I'm going to make a lot of money. All right, guys, we're like on day four, five, six. No, I think it's four. <laughs> you know, life gets in the way. I have laundry, dishes, other things I got to do too. But I finally got all the peripherals put back on this engine. I have the battery on the charger and we're ready to see if she starts. All right, guys, we got it all put back together. I do have fresh oil in it, but I am going to be changing the oil out after I ride this around just a bit. Make sure we don't have any leftover flakes in there just in case. I'm not putting the hood back on yet, just because, you know, you never know. Am I going to have to tear back into it? I have no idea. I got the battery on the charger, and let's see if she starts. Oh. <laughs> Darn it! The battery's crap. Just letting y'all know. This has nothing to do with that, and my charger's, you know, not going to pick up until it, until it gets a load, so... She runs great. I am super excited. I think I'm going to get a good penny out of this, but tell me, leave a comment below. What do you think I can get for it? You know, a brand new mower like this goes for about $2,500 plus tax. A bag kit is $500. This has the bag kit, the mulch cover, and the chute. I mean, the engine's going to be perfect for a very long time. The deck's in good order. We got, it has practically new belts. Spindles are perfect. We put new blades on it. It's going to be completely serviced out. What do you think I can get out of this? 
So guys, thanks again for tuning in to Chicanic. Hopefully this video saved you time, money, and frustration in the future. If you haven't found me on Facebook, find me at facebook.com slash Chicanic. Find me at Instagram at the Real Chicanic or find me at Chicanic.com where you get your own t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeve shirts. Thanks guys, and have a great day.